Here's another combination I did yesterday afternoon. I moved my hoops around in my barrels. And as you can see here, I made a three, uh, three legged pinwheel or partial pinwheel. I think they, they like to call them. Um, I prefer to call it just a square turn. And then I moved my barrel, so I replaced the hoop that was here with a barrel. Moved this barrel, so that basically what I was doing now, when my little person turns up, is I started here. I did two hoops, six meters apart. Round that barrel, pull in between, down to this hoop, left turn, left turn, straight on, wide, and go on back to the finish. I then did it in sort of like reverse way. I started over here. So we did the pinwheel part first. This was tricky. I tried standing over here and maybe I shouldn't have done, but it's all a question of finding out where you push or you pull your dog. So I turned my dog there. Again, I wanted my dog to go straight through the barrels, turn to the left and back down to there. Now, that took a little bit more technique and timing. Even though, because your dog is turning here still, so you've got to make sure you pull them in so that you can then safely direct them through the gap and then you have to turn them away from you. So there's a couple of technical pieces there which you very well need to practice for your agility, um, for your hooper competition. So those are the things that I spent just half an hour practicing yesterday. Um, by that time, and I'm talking about working two dogs. Not just one dog for half an hour, but I trained both of my dogs for about 30, 40, 30 minutes just over um, on doing those sections. And that was quite enough for them. Um, I rec you know, my recommendation is that 10 to 15 minutes of training in hoopers is going to be far better than an hour's worth of constant hoopers. But anyway... Have a good have a go at those um, layouts and see what you see what you think.